I am going to take that. Manchester United are now nine points clear of fifth spot in the Premier League after that 1-0 win against West Ham. And going into the last 15 minutes of that game, we were all shitting ourselves. We've conceded two late equalisers in our last five games at home. Everton with Calvert-Lewin and AC Milan. And it felt like a similar thing could happen. But it didn't happen tonight. United got the three points and against... A low block team. David Moyes there with just a horrendously negative set of tactics in a team which has got an excellent bit of confidence behind them, behind us in the league. No, they're, they're happy days that Moyes plays like that, played like that because it, United didn't need to worry. The battle of Maguire played good. Lindelof played good. Shaw, man of the match, easily. I'll get on to him. But they, they offered about as much threat as a, as a wet noodle. West Ham were awful until they made the subs. And when they made the subs, United... Got more impetus in the game, but at least we got the goal. As I said, against a low block team, it's kind of like three real ways that you break it down. One is with individual moments and individual quality is what we did today. Bruno Fernandes, a wonderful corner, but Tomine getting there. I think it was an own goal off Dawson. Don't really care how it went in, but United got that goal that forced West Ham to change. And when they changed out that shape, United were much better. We, we could find the spaces. Greenwood hitting the post. How unlucky was Mason Greenwood today? Um, Luke Shaw was, for me, out, the outstanding man in the match, but Greenwood was easily our biggest threat. Because West Ham sat so deep and Declan Rice effectively shadowed Bruno Fernandes, he struggled to get into the game. You saw him dropping deeper to try and get the ball, but he couldn't really affect the game in the way that we all know Bruno can. And I'll be honest, he looks burnt out. He looks knackered. This whole team looks knackered. And I don't think they can probably wait until the end of the season. I think we're really, we're really going to struggle in the majority of the games now, between now and the end of the season, apart from games like City, where there's, there's a, a reason for the players to get pumped for it. We're, we're, we're OK in those games, but in these games, I think we're going to see this slow, boring tempo uh, effectively for the rest of the season. I don't really see that changing. But Luke Shaw, it doesn't. the thing I find so brilliant about Luke Shaw's current run of form is that he seems, he's completely avoided the dip and the burnout that every other player has suffered from. Luke Shaw has played through it at a ridiculously consistent, like eight, nine out of 10 level, every single game. No fullback in the league is creating more chances than him. And I'm so happy for Luke Shaw. It's been a hell of a career for him at United. And for him to be in this sort of form at these most challenging of times, all credit to him. And he should be starting for England at the Euros according to this form. But United there, look, in the first half, it was frustration for United. We sat there against the low block. Bruno Fernandes was out of the game. And because we weren't playing with enough real width, and when we were, that's where the chances came from, West Ham were easily, they sat in shape. And then when the chances came, particularly Rashford, he fluffed his lines. But we all know that Rashford's a one in four striker. And today, <clears throat> he didn't take his chances. But at a time when United are really struggling with injuries and the players are really burnt out, and we had the disappointment of the AC Milan game. To hold out there towards the end, it's an important moment. United are now nine points clear of fifth in the Premier League. And this season now is all about finishing inside that top four. Making sure we've got Champions League football next year. So that the calibre of the players that we're going after in the summer can be the absolute best. I mean, for example, if we even want to try and sign Erling Haaland, there's no, there's no point doing it if we're in the Europa League next year. Simple as that. But being nine points clear gives us a huge cushion. Now, United, we, early this season when we went top of the Premier League, our asses fell out. We were terrible. The form fell off a cliff. And a lot of players are still struggling in that dip of form. But we're nine points ahead of West Ham now. We should not be letting go of that. This Tonight, that, that win there against West Ham should effectively mean we've got Champions League football next year. And that's huge. That is significant. Whether or not United spend this summer, that's a different question altogether. But as I said earlier, I think... I feel really sorry for Mason Greenwood. I think he, he, his footwork, his movement, he seemed so much sharper tonight. He was offering real threat in that first half when United were very limp. And an excellent save from Fabianski. He made two great saves. One from Greenwood, one from Fernandez. And with Bruno, as I said, I think he's really... To me, it looks like he's almost playing through injury. I don't think he's 100%, but you saw it even right towards the end there in the 90th minute. He was chasing down the ball, chasing down the space. Guy gives everything every single game. I think the whole defence played pretty well today. 
Shaw, easily the best player there. Fred and McTominay in midfield. Uh, they're never going to be that creative. But I think the one thing that we did, well, we didn't do it well, but you can see how you break down low blocks is uh, when Henderson rolled it out to Fred and Fred found Bruno. Bruno found Greenwood. That was the Fabianski save chance. That's how you break it down. You've got to move through the lines quickly. We didn't do it enough tonight because the space just wasn't there. And that just came because David Moyes came to Old Trafford to not play football at all. It was an awful tactic from them. Look, if, if they had got a late winner, it would have paid off. But they didn't because United got the goal and changed the game. I'm not sure what to expect from AC Milan next. I, I, I fear for United because of that burnout. I think we're really, really struggling right now. And the players have been playing three times a week every week. Since football returns, so that comes as no surprise. Cavani's not going to be fit. Pogba's not going to be fit. Both of them probably would start in AC Milan if they were available. But United there tonight, after the disappointment of, of AC Milan, after disappointments we've had this season against teams in a low block, we, we, we ticked off both of those boxes tonight. We held out for the 1-0. It wasn't an exciting game. For 60 minutes, it was crap. It opened up when West Ham actually put on Ben Rama and put on Lanzini in the game. There was more space and United started to attack the space. We didn't have the killer instinct tonight. And it made for a nervy like, final 10, 15 minutes. It didn't need to be nervous, but you know, Greenwood had his chance where he clattered the post. I think he was right not to pass it to Rashford. But I'm happy with it. This season is starting to... I think the enthusiasm is starting to really, really wane on people. The enthusiasm is weighing on me watching United. It's it's boring, it's it's lethargic, and the football's lethargic. But the result there tonight was ultimately the most important thing to get. It was never going to be blockbuster football against the West Ham team, which we knew were going to come and sit deep and sit tight, and they did, and it backfired in Moyes' miserable face, and I'm so happy that he is not manager of Manchester United. I just get bad flashbacks every time I see his face, let alone inside Old Trafford. But who was your man of the match? What's your reaction? For me, the huge positive... We're nine points clear of fifth, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight should be the, the, that should be the moment where we consider ourselves Champions League competitors next year. That makes a big difference to the targets we go for, to the mentality of the team. But we have to continue. We have to keep going through. AC Milan, that's going to be huge next. Let me know what you're thinking ahead of that game. Who was your man of the match for me? Definitely Luke Shaw. But a shout out to Mason Greenwood. Uh, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you are new to the channel, as always. Until next time, though. Take it easy.